But she's doing well, it looks like. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Is she your first? No, second. 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 So what, what I'm going to do first is just to take the family history. So mm -hmm. I just draw a family tree, and then we'll get Dr. Klein, and she'll ask more questions and then do an exam. Okay. Okay. Genetics has exploded in recent years, and basically we're finding out that almost everything in medicine could have a genetic basis. But it's not necessarily due to one specific genetic factor. We think it may be a combination of multiple genetic and environmental lifestyle factors shared within the family. We're all born with a set of uh, about 20,000 different genes. And in most of us, they're working properly and doing their job. But if somebody's born with an alteration in one of those genes, um, there are certain genes that may play a role in um, cancer. Cancer was um, she through your um, your mom? Okay. What we try to do clinically is determine if we can find something that we can give the patients and the families information that also could be acted upon. So whether that affects treatment, whether it affects management of a pregnancy or a child, whether additional findings have to be ruled out. At the Harvey Institute, we currently have um, three uh, board certified geneticists, um, and then we have three genetic counselors. The way that patients find their way to the Harvey Institute are generally through their primary care provider or through other specialists who recommend a genetic evaluation if someone has more than one thing going on and they can't be explained. Typically what happens is um, they come in and they meet with me and we have a conversation about um, their family history, their risk, what genetic testing could mean for them, how it all works, and then um, if they're interested in pursuing genetic testing, often we can draw blood or collect a sample the same day they're in our office. And then it usually takes about two weeks to get results back. You know, if there is a specific finding, patients often come back to our office to discuss it in more detail and um, review the implications and what that means for them. No, I mean, we've definitely seen this before with other families, but I would say, I mean, most of them are born open. It's a unique institute because we have members from various specialties all in one group. So I'm the pediatric specialist. I mostly see children, newborns, and teenagers, and sometimes adults. We also, in, our, in the Harvey Institute, have cancer specialists, prenatal specialists, and we also see adults independently. I, I think security and protection of this type of information is a very valid concern and it's an important thing to, to, that, that should be addressed. Uh, so this type of testing, it is a clinical test, uh, so the information is protected like any other health information. We always discuss fully what the implications would be in doing a test. Health insurance cannot be affected by genetic testing. In the long run, because we're, we're looking at the overview and we're thinking down the road, it is quite beneficial for, for the patients. We really feel like we get to help patients um, on a daily basis and you know, even when we have not so great news, um, you know, I think we try to provide it in um, a compassionate way and um, help give meaning to that news to give a silver lining to it you know if one's there and um, help patients work through um, work through that news. Which side is the hearing aid? So I think that the point about genetics constantly growing is very important. What we're focusing on more lately is trying to educate the, the people that refer to us and encourage counseling before testing. So I think the day will come where everyone will get genetic testing coming through the door. Whether it's a newborn, whether it's the first time they've been in the hospital, they'll get whole genome sequencing, they'll learn about everything related to them. I can't say that they'll learn about whether they'll be a good driver or if they'll be a good parent, but I do think that in the long run that type of testing could save healthcare dollars because we'll know what to expect and we'll know what to look for and what things we don't have to worry about.